Hey there, I wanted to do a quick video on, um, on uh, getting accuracy from your muzzle loader. And the reason I'm doing this video is um, I did some research on YouTube and other websites because I had a Thompson Center Omega that I had bought and I just could not get this thing to shoot good groups. I was getting six inch groups at the best. I was doing six inch groups and I was getting flyers um, like every fourth or fifth shot. It seemed like I'd, I'd get a flyer going out man where did that come from but um, everything I, I, I seen about getting accuracy from your muzzle loader focus more on powder grain you know and uh, the size of the bullet um, cleaning the muzzle loader between each shot and I, I understand the importance of that I mean I, I spent a lot of time adjusting my powder grain and, and settled on 110 for my uh, my Thompson Center, which is perfect now. I mean, now that I've, I've figured out my problems, I, I'm shooting really good groups. But uh, powder grain and, and bullet size and stuff, and I understand, you know, that is important. So, but, but for my problem, the problem I was having is not really talked about as much. So that was the reason I wanted to make this video. And um, the first thing I did after I bought the Thompson Center was, you know, the, the, the standard uh, started adjusting your powder grains and and, and I was buying all different types of bullets and all different sabots and combinations and and I mean just trying everything and I'm, I spent I mean I shoot out here in my backyard when I get home from work so I don't you know it's it's not it doesn't take long to go through a hundred dollars or two hundred dollars worth of ammunition when you're out here shooting all the time and I'm trying all these different combinations and, and I'm, I'm getting terrible groups so finally, I called Thompson Center and I talked to a guy there. They're very professional, you know, very easy people to talk to. And um, he said, "Hey, send it in. We'll we'll check it out." He said, "You know, it's possible something's wrong with it." So, so I went ahead and boxed it up, and sent it back to Thompson Center. And uh, about two or three weeks later, I I got my gun back and uh, I looked, and there wasn't really a lot of explanation they just you know said everything checked out fine and guns fine so so I had seen uh, while the gun was gone I, I was doing some research you know and, and I had noticed that barrel size was very important you know it, and it, it's really weird with these muzzle loaders they're they, they go anywhere from 0.499 size the inside diameter is 0.499 all the way up to like 5.505 and I'm thinking, man, you buy any other rifle, and it's like um, precision. I mean, they're exactly the the same size on each and every one of these, you know. And but not with muzzle load. Muzzle loader, you never know what you're going to get. So I had checked my CVA, and it was a .5 uh, .501. So when I got my Thompson Center back, I took it over to my dad's. He runs a lathe and has some, uh, you know, some measuring tools there. So I took it over to his house and had him measure it. And uh, it was a .503, so so I'm thinking, oh well, maybe that's it. I got to get some tighter fit. And when I loaded my gun, I never noticed that the sabots went hard, you know, um, too easy. Uh, it seemed like they pushed in, you know, normally. Maybe a little, I, definitely easier than my CBA, but I, I didn't notice it being real loose. I mean, they weren't falling out of my gun or anything. But um. Uh, I seen a site about knurling the bullet, so I tried that, and I, you put the bullet on a hard surface, you take a rasping file, and you just start really putting all your weight into it, and you get this bullet knurled, and it makes the bullet just a little bit bigger. And then I was also taking like a Walmart bag with plastic, and I was wrapping like two or three layers of plastic around the bullet, and then I'd drop the bullet into the sabot, take a razor blade and cut around there, you know, and uh, pull that plastic off. And uh, I'd have the plastic laying in the sabot. And uh, after I was doing that, I'm starting all of a sudden I'm shooting like um, four inch groups, three three inch, four inch groups, and I'm like getting really excited because that that seemed to be the problem. Is I, I just I needed to make my uh, my bullet and sabot bigger. And there's some websites that you can go to that that actually um, sell. Uh, different diameter sabots and I haven't tried that I didn't want to put more money into it because what I was doing seemed to be working but but that may be something if you're having problems with bigger size barrels you may want to go to these sites and I'll post the site a couple of those sites down at the bottom there and uh, you can check that out too and uh, that might help you 
so I'm getting like three, four inch groups, which which is exciting. I mean, it's it's like I'm thinking, okay, well we're trying to we're we're getting to where we can figure this out now. So I seen some post on some website I was on, and it talked about using aluminum foil to uh, to get accuracy. And um, so I, I check I was checking that out, and it looked really easy. You just start folding it over into layers, and you know you try try a couple shots with one layer, then two layers, then three layers, and um, as you can see in the picture there, it's 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 pretty easy to do. You just start folding it, and then you cut it after you get however many layers you're going to try. And um, and I settled on six layers, and I was getting like two inch grooves with six layers. And seven layers, it wasn't quite as good. Five layers wasn't quite as good. Six layers was perfect. And um, I was getting really good groups. And um, it's real easy to do. You just fold it over a few times and. and wrap it around your, your bullet and drop it into your sabot. And I'm, I made a quick video and I'll show you this video on um, how to do that. So check out the video. Alright, I'll show you real quick here how I put this uh, aluminum foil on here. I just take it, this is six layers right here, and uh, just kind of wrap it uh, wrap it around the bullet here. I leave a little excess at the bottom there so that I can kind of fold it down on there that kind of locks it in a little better and then uh, let's take the sabot and where it's slit right here just kind of stick that inside a little easier to do it when I'm not doing it in front of a camera but anyway right there then you take the razor blade and just be careful not to take your thumb off but just kind of slide that like that real easy and uh, it's in there and, uh, once you start doing them, it uh, goes really quick. So, give it a try. So, as you can see, uh, it's pretty easy to do, and uh, and uh, if you're having trouble getting good accuracy from your muzzle loader, and you've tried everything else, man, give that a shot. It worked for me. I spent a lot of money trying to figure it out. So, thought I'd throw that uh, onto YouTube, and hopefully, uh, can help somebody else out there. But I want to talk real quick too about what I'm using. Um, I'm using the Hornady. XTP mag 45 caliber uh, 240 grain bullets and uh, I really I tried a lot of, like I say I tried tons of different bullets and I and I had a lot here that I was you know working with and I don't really notice that much of a difference with my bullets I definitely notice with my powder I, I, I shoot 110 grains um, and that works great for this gun 110 is, is the, definitely the powder um, amount that I need to shoot. But I, I really didn't notice a lot of difference with my bullets. Um, I was getting pretty good groups with most of the bullets I used. There was a couple bullets that uh, I didn't get as good of groups, but for the most part I didn't notice a, a lot of difference. But uh, anyway, the reason I get the Hornady XTP mags is because I can get a box locally here at uh, Guns Galore. I, I live in Michigan. It's in it's a place there in Fenton, a gun shop, and uh, you can get them for like $28 for a hundred of them. And then the um, the Sabots, the Super Glides, I love these Sabots. It don't matter how big you make that that um, that Sabot, you put layers of foil in there, and you're and you're increasing the size of that Sabot. These Super Glides slide right down, and uh, I mean when you, when you get it really big, it is sometimes a little more difficult. But, but they're great sabots, and uh, and they, they 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 call them super glides for a reason, I guess. They they slide in there pretty good. So uh, if if you're having trouble because you're you know you're putting some layers on there and it's not sliding down as easily, you may want to give that a shot. Try out those Thompson Center super glides. They work pretty good. And um, I've even uh, a shot without cleaning my gun a few times, and I can still push them down there without too much problem. So uh, they work really good. And um, that's about it. I uh, hope you give this a shot if you're having trouble and, uh, and, and post on there if it worked for you. I'm curious to see if anyone else um, gets the accuracy that I got by trying this. And uh, also if you order some of those uh, different size sabots, uh, maybe make a post on that and see if that's working for you. But um, Alright, well thanks for watching the video and I uh, hope you have a great day. Bye.